Well, hello all and welcome. I hope you're all doing well. Uh, you find me in the greenhouse. Uh, I'm doing some potatoes. In my last video, um, I showed you some rocket that were well chitted and I'd got enough to do six buckets. Um, I've done five. I'm going to show you what I'm doing or how I'm going about it with the last bucket that I've got here so uh, without further ado we'll uh, crack on and uh, get some spuds in buckets We've got behind where the camera is there, there's four of these buckets behind there. They've got in the bottom, they've got some spent compost that I have added some pelletised chicken muck to it and a little bit of fish blood and bone. You can see, well, <coughs> I'll just pick that up but you can see look there's some of the pelletized chicken muck that's been added to that now I'm going to do these are 35 litre buckets and I do four potatoes per bucket and what I'll do is one potato that handle one potato let's just move that out with that handle there then I'll cover that with compost. This is clover compost that I have added a little bit of fish blood and bone and pelletised chicken muck to. There's enough in here to fill that bucket. I've uh, I've worked it all out. It's all scientific, you know. I've made sure that I've got enough but as you can see look pelletised chicken muck and so on so what I'm doing just putting enough in here now to cover those two potatoes then the next two will go 90 degrees to the handles so I've got two two potatoes one at basically one on each handle just covered these two now are 90 degrees to those and what I'm now going to do is top it up with this mix like I say this is fresh clover compost with some fish blood and bone and a bit of pelletised chicken muck added just give it a to make sure that it all firms down there's a line on these buckets these tubs to show you this sort of let's put that over there it's sort of the the fill line as it were there we go and it's as simple as that uh, I've done I've now done six six of these buckets that's all me 
rocket potatoes all used up for this label today's date 28th of the second put that one in there the first bucket that is over in the far corner basically behind where the camera is that's got a label in as well same as that and I've put one in there for that and um, another job that I've got to do within the greenhouse here is take out from the greenhouse within the greenhouse some of these seedlings because they're starting to uh, get well they need moving out these shallots for a start off see they can come out here now and it'll open that up for me to uh, put a bit more in so diversing as I've done there sorry but um, so yes that's now my first lot of potatoes in buckets I've got some charlottes that I was going to put in buckets but I've, I think I might I might put them round on the plot actually rather than put them in buckets we'll see we'll see how we go on but yeah that's uh, six buckets four potatoes in each bucket all in and uh, they're in the greenhouse here of course because of a uh, bit of protection from any frost once these start coming up and they go outside they'll only go out once I'm sure there's no more frosts but if there's any forecast for frost they can just bob them straight back in here um, I'm not going to say a great deal but Verbena, remember in the last video I um, said about I was going to do the coal stratification and and I bought another pack and I don't know whether you can but it sounds as though there's seeds in there so I'm going to get the job <laughs> get the job done while I can so one bag some very fine compost albeit a little dry but there'll be enough there we'll now have a look second time lucky with any luck we'll should have oh yes that's <laughs> so the fuller door store it is actual seed <laughs> oh just that, that was amazing unbelievable right i know the seed isn't very big for the beaner it's is like dust so we'll scatter them in there we'll rip this apart to make sure that we get every last seed and there we go give that a bit of a mix in and then we'll Give it a bit of a water in. Just want to get that compost relatively moist because this will then go in the fridge. Luckily for me, I've got an extra. We've got an extra fridge that we keep uh, cold, keep drinks in. Because uh, I know for definite my wife would not allow me to put that in the normal fridge and I bet there's one or two of you out there that are in the same situation I bet it's a case of what you're not putting that in there what do you think this is you know so right that just wants a little bit more I don't really want to get my fingers in it too much because I could have seeds on all that there and I'm checking them out so we'll close that up seal try and seal it it's not playing it is now there we go uh, 
I've got a label I could put with it, but I'm not going to bother. There's still the original on the <laughs> on the back of that, so we'll leave it at that. And we'll go and get that now in the fridge. Okay, so there's the verbena mix. Put it in the fridge in there. That will stay in there now for about four weeks. So we're basically going to say the end of March. It's uh, last day of February today, 28th Feb. So they'll go in there. That will give them a bit of a cold shock where they think they're going through winter. We get them out, give them some warmth, and with any luck, they should start growing from there. Been out today doing our weekly shop. Been into Aldi. To an in Aldi. I don't know if any of you do shop in there, but they have a, a middle aisle that has, shall we say, specialises in various things from time to time. Uh, it can be things like hand tools, power tools, it could be uh, workwear, it's arts and crafts, papers, paints, pads, it could be dog beds, it's all sorts of things that they can have. And one of the things they've currently got at the moment is some gardening equipment and tools. And I'm in need of a new potting bench. So I thought to myself, I thought, why not? Uh, looks pretty good. It was selling at 34.95 or 34.99. Um, I will do a separate video actually when I come to put this together to uh, see how good a quality is it is and how well it goes together but I thought why not I'm in need of something like this so I grabbed one while we're out and we'll see what it's like well I've been out and about and I've been out to a little village I've been replenishing the stocks of my clover compost been out to a little village near me about uh, five or six miles up the road literally and uh, they've got a farm supply shop called T TFM and uh, apart from obviously all the usual farming things that they they supply they have a stock of several various uh, varieties makes of compost obviously clover being one of them and i got these for four bags for 16 pound just can't can't beat it i know there is going to come a day i think it's what a couple of years from now when we're going to have to go peat free if they don't move the goal posts that is but for now for me this i love i love using the clover and i thought for 16 pound for four bags they're 60 litre bags can't go wrong uh, absolutely brilliant so i've stocked up on that well i've got yet more sewing to do one thing me tomatoes now i know a lot of you have uh, are at the stage of actually pricking them on now into pots and as you can see I've not even started mine uh, today is Sunday the 13th of February the reason I am well compared to last year I'm only a week later than when I did them last year and my reasoning behind it very simple is I'd done them quite early on in the year before now and they've come up nicely potted on and so on they've been put into like four inch pots and they've been you know a good 12 inches or more 15 inches high and they've still been under the grow lights and they've literally been touching the grow lights because the weather hasn't been good enough to put them out in the greenhouse so last year I had a conscientious thought about it all and decided do them that little later so that I can get things sorted in the greenhouse ready for them to go out 
um, and I did that last year and I must admit it was a lot better so this year tomatoes and the varieties oh I'll go off my little labels here sweet million I'm doing sweet peritif which is the first time I've ever done that and I'm doing crimson crush and I'm also doing if I show you here I'm also doing a variety called Bacardi and that's them there these are save seed um, the reason these are save seed is about it's got to be about I bet it's five years now uh, we bought some this time of year when you know winter time ish we bought some tomatoes from uh, a supermarket and they were quite a decent size and I thought I'll save some seed from them and have a go of growing them and that's what I did and then the following year the dog we had at the time Bacardi she died so as homage shall we say to Bacardi I call them Bacardi the tomatoes so I'm going to do them you can also see here that I've got uh, I've got a load of dahlia seed. This is saved from my different dahlias that I've got. So in amongst them, it's things like Showtime mix, um, cactus mix, Bishop's children. There's, there's all sorts in here. So I'm doing those. Uh, and what I'm doing with regards those, I'm using these mushroom pots. Got some holes in the bottom using those and I'm going to just sew them into there I'm also doing some cosmos which will go into here and again the cosmos is exactly the same because it's saved seed from last year we're doing the same with them I'm doing Rebecca that's um, Toto Rustic I'm doing French Marigold, boy oh boy. I'm doing three lots of sunflowers. I'm doing a multi-headed variety, which is that one there. It's, to be honest, it's out of the, <laughs> the kids' seed. <laughs> um, at a garden centre, you know where you see them and for kids? Well, that's one of them. And looking at that, it looks like it's multi-headed when you look at the stalks. So I'm doing that. I'm doing High Hopes, which is the one I grew last year outside the front of the house and it got up to something like about four metres or four and a half metres or something. And I'm also doing Teddy Bear. I love these. They don't grow very tall. Maybe they're a dwarf. Does it say here what sort of height? doesn't say. But they only get to about two foot, if that. Uh, but as you can see by the, the the flower, that's lovely, really nice. So we're doing them. So I've got different pots for doing them in. Um, I'm doing, as uh, I say, doing the tomatoes. Uh, I think that's it. Yeah, that that's. Oh, while I'm here, I'll just show you something um, with regards to some lettuce remember me doing that uh, crisp mint and me being me i thought oh a lettuce that tastes of mint different you know but now it meant as in the color green a nice minty green and as you can see there's two per cell here i have got some more down there that are individual they're the same size as these so these are these are doing quite nicely uh i may just with these leave the others in the greenhouse but i may get and put these out soon and give them a i've got a, a coal frame sort of uh cloche arrangement that i can put over the top to give them a bit of uh, protection but at the moment they're doing nicely um so that's it really so what i'm going to do now i'm not going to bore you to death and show you all this that i'm sewing um all that i'll do is I've just explained to you what what I've got. I'm going to get on and do them. When they're finished, 
I'll bring you back and show you everything all done and sorted ready to go back in the house under the grow lights and so on so I'll bring you back once I've done the seed sowing okay so that's everything sown I'll take you through these as as they are in there is my dahlia mix that's as I say I said earlier save seed from various varieties of dahlias so we can get a bit of a mixed bag coming up there tomato sweet aperitif first year for me for growing sweet aperitif uh, I bumped into Dean from Dean's Lost the Plot last year at Mulvan the autumn festival he said how nice they are so we're doing them thanks to you Dean uh, next to those is Sweet Million and I did those last year first year I did those last year again that was through a recommendation and <laughs> shall I say that not many of those made it to the house <laughs> when, when I came into the greenhouse and they were ready it was like mm, mm, don't mind if I do <laughs> so uh, so we're doing them again um, tomato Bacardi that's my own save seed so they're in there then we've got cosmos mixed again that's because of save my own save seed so there'll be a mixed bag of cosmos that'll come up there uh, sunflower teddy bear in there sunflower the multi-headed one in that that pot then in here i've got i've got to mention this but i've got um, salvia blue denim never done that before and I thought oh why not we'll give that a go they were they were a free seed uh, from Mr Fothergill's I think that was so I'm giving them a go then at the back there some more sunflowers high hopes they're the ones um, I grew one in the front of the house in a 35 litre pot and it grew to about well it was I think it was well over four meters um, grew really well that did then we've got Rebecca uh, Toto Rustic never done them before but thought why not give them a go uh, French Marigold boy oh boy and then in here the last of me tomatoes the Crimson Crush uh, they're a good blight resistant variety of tomato and I've been growing them now for about the past it's got to be the past three years it might be four years now and they're brilliant absolutely they're my go-to tomato they really are a lovely lovely tomato so all these now will go into the house they'll go under the grow lights where I can get them in if not under the grow lights then they'll go next to the grow lights and uh, we'll uh, see how things go from there on but yeah a bit of uh, like i say got my tomatoes started at last and uh, got a few flowers done and i've still got more flowers to do but uh, more on them in a future video well that's it for this one thank you all very much for watching it really is very much appreciated um, I don't know, I must have had brain fade or something when I said about putting those lettuce out um, on the plot. Um, they, I mean, yeah, a bit of protection, they'd probably be okay. But uh, after I'd done that bit of clip, done that bit of filming, um, we've had frosts every morning since then. So they're staying here, in fact, just bear with me a moment. these are those as you can see doing really nicely these are they're gonna stay where they are to be per perfectly honest totally blunt um, I can't see the point in pouring them out they're doing nice uh, here um, I will get and sow some more uh, not of these I've got some other varieties to do but that will be a future video um, but yeah they're gonna stay as I say stay here I've got a, a gravel tray just just behind where the camera is little gravel tray with a little bit of water in 
and it just keeps these uh, suitably watered um, so so that's them uh, thank you all very much for watching as I've said um, please like comment subscribe if you if you're new to the channel it'd be great if you subscribed um, so until the next one be good look after yourselves look after each other and I'll see you in the next one. Tear out a bit.